Hi everyone, Miss Melinda here. I'm going to do a video today about natural beauty. It's a little bit off topic for me, but it was a request and I'm always happy to fulfill requests. I do let everyone know each time I do a video if anything comes up that you have a question about or if there are any topics that you would like elaboration on. I'm always happy to follow up on those things with a future video as long as your request is within reason. So the reason that I brought up natural beauty in the first place was in a video that I did um, concerning self-confidence. And I brought it up not because I want to be preachy or judgy about um, how other people or anybody should care for themselves or what you should and should not do when attending to your beauty routine, but I brought it up um, as a way to offer people alternatives and to offer people a little bit more self-empowerment. I feel like we see a lot of um, advertisements that promote very expensive beauty products that are supposed to do very specific things and tell us how we should look and how we should pursue that look. And um, it's helpful to know that there are natural alter alternatives and there are less expensive alternatives. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. Um, the reason that this has become a topic that I am knowledgeable about and have experience with is because it really ties in with living a holistic lifestyle. And when I say holistic, I mean it in the sense of um, living a spiritual lifestyle where there's very little or no separation in between your spiritual life and your mundane life. So for me, that has... Um, that has encompassed a lot of different areas of my life. Um, one of them definitely being some of the, the beauty products that I use. So in my spiritual practice, I wouldn't buy oils that have synthetic ingredients or dyes or chemicals in them. I wouldn't use a, a fake alternative to herbs, right? So it's the same kind of thing in my um, beauty routine. I don't like to have a lot of chemicals in my beauty products, and I don't like to have a lot of chemicals in my food. You know, it kind of, it all ties in together. Um, and speaking of food, that is where you will start if you are thinking about um, natural beauty. I just have to mention it because it's, it's so obvious um, that I would feel silly if I didn't mention it. So start from inside, you know, make sure, I'm not going to go into a bunch of stuff about nutrition, but make sure that you get fruits and veggies, make sure that you eat in a way that makes you feel good, that you avoid too much processed food, too much caffeine, too much sugar, especially processed sugar, and drink lots of water. So that's number one on where to start with your natural beauty routine. And now that we've covered that, I'll go over some of the really basic ingredients that you can get in your kitchen or at your grocery store that can you can use on your skin that are really beneficial. So one of the big things that you see a lot of beauty products advertise is alpha hydroxy acid. And what that does is it minimizes fine lines and wrinkles. It takes off the outside layers of your skin in a gentle way over time and it actually uh, minimizes spine lines and wrinkles. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that alpha hydroxy acid comes from fruit and it can be found in a lot of the items in your kitchen. Um, and I should mention other acids as well are found in your fruit and in your other foods. So I'm just going to go over some of those items that have different acids in them that can help you minimize fine lines and wrinkles. Um, number one in that category would be apple cider vinegar. Now if you have sensitive skin you may want to be careful with apple cider vinegar. You'll probably want to dilute it. Um, however you can put it, you can put that right on your face the way that you would do with a toner. In fact you can consider it a toner. Um, it will be a little bit drying, so you know you have to balance that out however you see fit. Um, it is, it, it does work really well. Um, it is also really good for shrinking your pores and um, it's antiseptic, so all of those good things that you think of as any other kind of toner doing. Um, also for alpha hydroxy acid, there are strawberries, um, apples, and lemons, 
And those are the three I can think of off the top of my head right now. So lemons, they will fade your skin. They're a natural fading agent. Um, from my experience, if you have something you want to fade, um, something like a, an age mark or something like that, it will take a lot of time. Um, lemons will take a, a while to do that. But what they do really well and really quickly is brighten your skin and tighten your skin. And they're very antiseptic, so they help to get rid of blemishes, um, any kinds of like little abrasions or acne that you might be experiencing. And they, of course, help with wrinkles as well. Now, that's something that you don't want to leave on your skin. You want to use it almost like a mask, so you would um, kind of wash it onto your skin, be careful around your eyes, of course, and then rinse it off in a set amount of time, like maybe 10 minutes or so. That's something that could be um, a little bit, it could bother your skin if you have sensitive skin, so be careful with that. Um, Strawberries are a really good one because they're really easy to macerate or mash up so you can make a mask out of strawberries and they have the, those good acids in there that help to minimize fine lines and wrinkles. And that's a lot safer to use like around your eyes, um, things like that, and it's also easier to use if you have sensitive skin or you have dry skin. So those are some really good items with acids in them. Um, moving on from there, there are you can use eggs on your skin. Um, egg white draws out impurities. So if you're dealing with oily skin, if you're dealing with blemishes and acne or um, any kind of minor infections, you can use egg white as a mask to draw out impurities. Um, it also tightens and brightens your skin. So if you're looking to improve elasticity, if you're looking to brighten your skin for a more youthful glow. Egg white is a really good one for that. And um, that's something that's not likely to irritate anyone's skin. So if you have sensitive skin, you, you should be able to use egg white without problem. Um, one of the miracle ingredients that I love and cannot live without is honey. And honey does numerous things. Um, honey, as we know, is a, is a sacred ingredient. And I definitely recommend using raw honey, the raw unfiltered honey. So it's going to have um, all of those nice crunchy bits in there, maybe in some cases even some pieces of honeycomb. Um, but the, the raw unfiltered natural honey is going to also act as an exfoliating agent. And it's going to have more of those, um, more of the live ingredients in it that are going to be beneficial to you. So. Honey is antiseptic, it speeds healing, it's going to brighten your skin, moisturize your skin, it's going to um, heal up acne or blemishes, it's going to work on minimizing fine lines and wrinkles, and it's going to exfoliate your skin. Basically, honey does everything, and it's amazing for your skin, and I highly recommend using a just straight honey mask um, like once a week or every other week or so. I mean... You're going to look silly walking around your house with honey on your face, but I do it all the time, and I highly recommend it. Um, you can leave it on as long as you want, really. I, I, I've been known to leave my honey on my mask for like an hour. <laughs> but, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, a half hour, that's definitely sufficient. Um, one of the things that I've been using lately, too, is honey mixed up with a little apple cider vinegar and a little turmeric. Um, turmeric is anti-inflammatory, and we've already discussed some of the properties of apple cider vinegar, and we've already discussed honey, so just mix those together and make a thick mask and use it the same way that you would the honey, and it's really wonderful for your skin. Um, let's see, what else can I recommend? Coconut oil, I use that on my hair. If you have oily hair, you'll want to be careful with that. Um, you do have to, you use it as a hair mask. You want to put it on your dry hair and then leave it sit. And then you'll, you will have to wash it out with shampoo. You will have to put a little bit of effort into washing it out. Um, it's not for everyone. You may want to experiment with it or use a little bit of it at a time and see how it works for you. Maybe use it just on your ends. Um, but it, it really makes your hair very soft and manageable and shiny. 
So that's a great one. Um, you can also rinse your hair with apple cider vinegar for sure. Um, that will make your hair really soft and manageable. Um, I think if you try that, you'll be happy with the way it turns out. And let's see. I think, well, oh yes, I'll mention a couple of essential oils and then I think that we'll be done. So I do have to let you know you have to be careful with essential oils. That's another thing that can irritate your skin if you have um, sensitive skin. And it is always, always recommended that you put essential oils in a carrier oil so that it's safe for you. So that's like your almond oil, your olive oil, sesame oil, something like that, right? So you want to dilute it in another oil. Um, also, essential oils have a direct effect on your bloodstream. They soak through your skin and into your bloodstream, which affects your body in all kinds of ways. It affects your health. So you want to be careful with essential oils and do your research about it. Um, some of them affect your hormones. They can affect you in different ways. So you want to be sure that it's something that's safe for you. Um, that being said, lavender oil is amazing for preventing scars, especially um, if you have a burn, especially with burns, but it, really with any kind of abrasions or with acne or anything like that, dab a little bit of lavender oil on there and you'll heal it up really quickly and you will minimize your chance of, chances of scars. Um, tea tree oil is really potent for any kind of blemishes. That works very quickly and very, very thoroughly. Um, also, uh, Rose Absolute is amazing for your skin. Um, and what I like to do with that is I mix a little bit of it in with my foundation. And it gives you, not only are you like putting something on your skin with your makeup that's going to be doing good things for your skin all day, but it is also going to create a little bit of a healthy glow for you. So. That's a really great one to use. And, and that's a really good trick, mixing a little bit of oil in with your foundation. Um, and then I, so I'll tell you about a face wash that I like to make, and then I think I'll end it there. So one of my favorite um, natural face washes is a half a cup of um, organic all natural yogurt. And one tablespoon of oil, I would prefer almond oil, that's a really nice oil for your skin. And then one teaspoon of fresh squeezed lemon oil. And that's not something that you'll want to use for like taking off your makeup or really deep cleansing. Um, it works best when you just wake up in the morning and you are just kind of refreshing your face, right? Um, and if it's like summertime or if you are prone to oily skin, you don't even need to put any moisturizer on after that. It's going to leave your skin nice and conditioned, a little bit glowing and feeling lovely. So I highly recommend trying that and you, you can also experiment a little bit with the ratios of those ingredients and see what works for you. So that's a little bit of information about uh, natural beauty. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope it's useful for you. I know it's a little bit off topic for me. Um, thank you for watching the video. Please share the video. Please like the video. Feel free to comment and feel free to let me know if you have questions. Thanks and have a good day.